Hi, my name is Tiana Karamayas and I'm a Cavoodle puppy coach and breeder from Oodle Way and River City Puppies. As a coach, my philosophy is simple. A Cavoodle should always complement your lifestyle, not complicate it. And this is the foundation to everything I teach. For almost the past decade, I have been working in the breeding, training, grooming, and veterinary sectors of the small animal industry. I've also been raising Cavoodles for the past 16 years, so I have definitely learned a thing or two about the breed along the way. Now this podcast is all about Cavoodles. Raising Cavoodles, training Cavoodles, grooming Cavoodles, breeding Cavoodles, and how to shape the behavior of a Cavoodle puppy. So if you're a Cavoodle parent or you're looking at adding a Cavoodle to your family soon, then this podcast is for you. New episodes will be released each Tuesday morning and you can follow me across all social media under the name at Oodle Way for more tips and advice on Cavoodles. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, welcome back to episode 15 of the Cavoodle Coach podcast. My name is Tiana Karamayas and I'm your host. I just cannot believe we are already up to episode 15 already. This has just flown by and I have been receiving so much positive feedback from so many of you and I just wanted to say thank you so much for choosing to spend your time listening to this podcast. I hope you've been learning so much and I hope you have found lots of value in these episodes so far and if you have, please send me an email at hello at tianacaramayas.com and let me know that you're enjoying it. Let me know what you want to hear more of. Let me know what topics you want me to cover. And I would be more than happy to cover these topics in future episodes. But that's it for this little intro. Let's get into today's episode. So in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a question that I received the other week. I actually received it a few times coincidentally, and it was whether it's a good idea to get two Cavoodle puppies at once from the same litter. Now, I was asked for my personal opinion on this topic. So in this episode, I am going to be going through what I would personally do in this situation if I was considering this, and I'll give you my reasons why from both a Cavoodle owner's point of view, a breeder's point of view, and then a coach's point of view. And my goal for this episode is to simply help you look at things from a different perspective if you are considering getting two puppies at once ultimately the decision always comes down to you it comes down to personal preference and whether you want those two puppies at once or you would rather wait until one is a little bit older all right so let's get into this episode now the first thing that comes to my mind when I hear this question is this A puppy is always going to be a reflection of the environment they are raised in. And what I mean by this is if your puppy is raised in a very stressful, highly strung environment, your puppy is going to reflect this behavior and these attitudes and it's going to be very on edge and highly strung itself. And when puppies are very highly strung, if they're very anxious or on edge, what they start to do is they start to express behaviors such as barking, digging, chewing, escaping, toileting accidents, crying, or even repetitive chewing and licking of the paw. And these behaviors are usually involuntary and they're performed to reduce this fear, to reduce this stress, to reduce this anxiety by burning through energy and adrenaline. So if your home environment is very stressful, if your home environment is very tense and on edge, your puppy is going to start feeling very anxious themselves and they may start to exhibit these behavioral issues. So the reason why this is important when we start to talk about whether it's a good idea to have two puppies at once is for a few reasons. Number one, when you have two puppies who are the same age and from the same litter, what they're going to do is they're going to start having a lot of energy because they will spend their days playing. And when puppies are in the habit of expelling a certain amount of energy each day, they're going to need to expel this same level of energy, if not more. So your two puppies' energy levels are going to be higher than what they would have been if there was only one puppy. Now, what happens when we have two puppies with a lot of energy? Firstly, we have to start channeling this energy into something more productive so that they don't start having destructive behaviors like digging, chewing, pulling on curtains, etc. So what we need to do is we need to do a lot more training with them. But the issue you run into when you have two puppies who need training is you then need to dedicate the time each day, multiple times a day, to individually train the puppies. And this means you need double the amount of time in your day to dedicate to the puppies, which can be very hard because a lot of us lead very busy lifestyles between work, children, after school activities social lives it can be very hard to find that time multiple times in a day to train two puppies separately and then when we do have to train the two puppies separately it means we have to separate the puppies and these puppies start to rely on each other as a source of comfort so it can lead to separation anxiety and also it means that when the puppy who is not being trained by you is separated you have to also find a way to entertain them while the other puppy is getting trained so whether that's enrichment toys, long-lasting treats, having someone else train that puppy while you train the first one, it can all just get, it can just be a lot. 
And the point I'm trying to make is when you start to feel like you have taken on more than what you can handle, you start to feel overwhelmed yourself and you start to feel stressed and you start to feel very anxious and your puppy reflects these energies and when your puppy is feeling anxious and stressed itself, what happens is those behavioral issues such as digging, chewing, barking, separation anxiety, all of these behaviors start to be shown by the puppy as a result of them trying to burn up their energy and adrenaline to try and decrease these levels of stress and anxiety. So what can happen is you get into this kind of cycle where you start to feel overwhelmed and stressed because you have two puppies and you might not have all the time that you need to individually train each of these puppies and spend the time with them to make sure they are reaching their full potential. But then in turn, when you're feeling stressed and anxious, your puppies start to feel stressed and anxious and then they start to have behavioral issues such as the digging and the chewing, the barking, which then makes you even more stressed and anxious and it all can just pile up and become quite a difficult situation to manage. And that's why it can be a good idea to not have two puppies at once and instead leave a bit of a gap between their ages. However, if for example you work from home and you know you have the time in your day to individually train and raise these puppies, then having two puppies at once can be a really great thing. But something I always like to say to anyone considering this is to imagine what it's like having twins versus a single child. It's always twice the amount of work, twice the amount of effort and twice the amount of stress when you have two babies at once compared to one. So just make sure you are aware of just what can happen when one baby starts crying, the other baby starts crying. When one puppy starts crying, the other puppy starts crying. When one puppy starts digging, the other puppy starts digging. So just keep in mind that when you have two puppies at once, it can be a lot more stressful and it can also be a lot more work. So if you are considering having two puppies at the same time, ask yourself, are you ready for this commitment? Are you able to individually dedicate the time to both puppies to make sure they are reaching their full potential and thriving while feeling loved and having an environment full of learning? Are you able to do just as good of a job raising these puppies together as you would have if you were raising them separately? That's a really important question you need to ask yourself because at the end of the day, the puppies come first and we need to make sure that we are doing everything we can to make sure these puppies are reaching their full potential and getting every opportunity in their life to reach their full potential. Of course, having two puppies at once can be amazing and beautiful. They have a best friend for life. It just comes down to whether you are able to handle raising them at the same time or whether you'll be better off waiting a few years between getting the puppies. Now, for me personally, I have multiple dogs, too many dogs. I'm a breeder. I have too many dogs. So I have gone through the process of adding another dog to the family multiple times. And for me, one of the most beneficial things when adding a puppy to the family is for that puppy to have an older dog who models the behavior you want to see in this new puppy. Obviously, dogs can communicate to each other so much better than we can. So if a puppy has an older dog who is modeling the behavior that you love and that you want to be experienced, breast in the younger puppy, it makes your job so much easier. So if you are wanting two dogs in your family, for me personally, I love to have one dog at a time. And once that first dog reaches an age where you love their behaviors and their attitudes, that's when I add the second dog into the family, because that means the older dog can model those behaviors to the puppy. And a puppy who is like a sponge at this age and absorbs everything around them will much more easily start to complement your lifestyle rather than complicate it. So in summary, my biggest tip when thinking about whether to add two puppies to your family who are the same age and from the same litter is to ask yourself whether you have the time in your day to individually train both puppies separately multiple times a day and whether you are able to do so without starting to feel overwhelmed, overworked, anxious or stressed yourself because if you start to feel these emotions, your puppies will start to feel these emotions as well and then this leads to even more complications through behavioral issues as these puppies try to manage these emotions inside their body. Puppies thrive off of individual attention and they thrive in a very calm, loving, supportive environment. So you need to make sure you can provide this environment to them. In addition to this, another good thing to always keep in the back of your mind is two puppies means twice the amount of vet bills, twice the amount of food, twice the amount of parasite control. Everything is twice as expensive. So you need to make sure that you are financially able to provide to both of these puppies. And in addition to this, if you are going away on holidays, do you have someone who can look after two puppies as opposed to just one? This is a really important thing to consider because if you feel like you cannot leave your house and go on holidays because you have two puppies, this is what leads to a tense environment. And this is when you start to feel like your puppy is complicating your life rather than complementing it. So always make sure you have the money to financially support both puppies. 
You have someone who can look after the puppies when you go away, whether for work or for holidays. And also you are able to provide a very loving, warm, enriching, calm environment to these puppies. So I hope this episode has given you a bit of a different perspective when it comes to asking whether you should get two puppies at once. At the end of the day, like I said in the beginning of the episode, it comes down to personal preference. It's your individual decision whether you get two puppies at once. And at the end of the day, I know that you will be able to give both puppies lots of love. It's just whether you can give them the best life while they are a puppy and whether you would be able to manage it better if you had one puppy at a time as opposed to two puppies at a time. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to like this episode and follow this podcast so you never miss out on any of the future episodes. If you have any friends who have a cavoodle or are considering getting one, make sure you share this episode with them, especially if they are considering getting two puppies themselves. Now, if you have just picked up a new Cavoodle or you're getting one soon, I do have a wonderful course that I would highly recommend. It's called Udaway Puppy Prep, and I've designed this course to focus on preparing you for your puppy and bringing them home, setting up the house, focusing on toilet training and crate training, nutrition, parrots that control, vaccinations, enrichment, all of that. But also, in addition to this, we're also focusing a lot on proper socialization, proper um, proper enrichment, proper desensitization, so we can really work at shaping the behavior of your puppy so they are well behaved and calm within your household and if you wanted to continue that training I do also have Udaway Puppy Train which is a course that is literally training your puppy so we'll go through exercises such as sit down stay loose lead walking leave it place and so many more and it's all online which means you get to do it at your own pace you get to move through the exercises depending on how fast your puppy is learning and you can increase the difficulties when you are ready to increase the difficulty um, and it's all the, the whole course is me training a puppy and you get to follow along and implement the same things with your puppy so that's Udaway puppy prep and puppy train so if you have a new cavoodle and you're looking at some extra help um, and you're looking to get some help from a cavoodle coach rather than just a general trainer um, definitely head over to my website that's udaway.co or you can click the link in the show notes and I'll also link it there. So that's it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. This has been your Cavoodle coach Tiana Karamayas. See you later.